Why Material Science and Engineering? Humans have always strived to advance technology. And the evolution of our technology has always been enabled by the advancement of the materials we build with. We improve from wood to stone to metals. And today, material scientists and engineers are working to expand our capabilities in every field. So things can be stronger, lighter, and more durable. Because materials are where discoveries exist. And because material failure is what has limited us in the past. Because Pittsburgh advanced the steel manufacturing that built this country. And the city continues to stay at the forefront of modern material applications. Material science is definitely beyond steel making. There are also many other materials that you can focus on, whether that's specialty metals or polymers, biomaterials, composites, ceramics. I got a piece of advice uh, that said I should choose whatever track gives you the most opportunity. You could have a job in pretty much any industry you want because material science is so broad. I want to go into cosmetics. I'm on the renewable energy track, so I'm hoping to work with batteries. I am planning on going into the aerospace industry after graduation. Uh, I think right now I'm looking at the semiconductor industry. So my favorite part of the program is the small class sizes, not only because you get to know your classmates, but because you also get to know your professors. And they're all really excited about the subject, and also the kids are kind of nerdy, so they're also all really excited about the science, so it's kind of fun. Through the material science program, I was able to get to know some of the professors. We uh, developed a very close relationship, and through that, I gained uh, opportunities in research. The research is also a requirement in the senior year. Students can also get involved in summer research and research during the semester. Not necessarily only knowing the materials from the lectures. By doing the research together with us, they can understand better about how the materials develop and how we manufacture all of these materials. Yeah, materials can be as hands-on as you want it to be. And once you break your first specimen, I mean, it's just contagious. You just really want to do that again. I picked material science because I wanted to be involved with chemistry, but I didn't want to be a chemical engineer specifically. I really like chemistry and I really like physics and material science is a good combination of both of those subjects. Material science kind of looks at the mechanical properties of materials just at a chemical level. And look at the atomic bonds, how the atoms are interacting with each other, but in a mechanical way instead of a chemical way. You can also go extremely applied by focusing on the engineering aspects, or you can go really uh, fundamental in going to the science area and everything in between. Materials is about everything. So basically from the nanoscale to the meter scale, Everything that you can see, you can feel, is about material science. At the end of the day, everything has materials in it, and often that's what's going to set the limit for what we can do. So we need to understand material science. So why material science? Because materials are the foundation of the world today, and will be the foundation of our future. Because material scientists are needed in every field. And Pitt is fostering the next generation of great material scientists and engineers. What's the problem? It's the materials. It has always been the materials.